So it's the last day of school, guys. We were wondering if you'd be interested in coming over to celebrate. Uh, what do you think, guys? Sure, it, it sounds like it'd be pretty fun. We have to set up when we get home, so how about tonight at like 5 o'clock? Sounds good. We'll see you then. We really need to make sure we set a good impression. I know. We really need their help. Wait, I'm a little confused. Could we go over, like, their skills again? I know Kate is a really talented gymnast, but I can't remember for the other two. Chloe is really great with computers. I'm pretty sure she could hack the government if she wanted to. And Jessie speaks at least five different languages. It's kind of intimidating how talented they are. Eliza, you can travel through time, and I grew up in the 1950s. Yeah, Eliza, I'm the one who doesn't really have any sort of special talent. Are you kidding, Lydia? You're so brave and you're a great leader. That takes talent too. It's just a different kind of talent. I really hope everything goes smoothly tonight. It's taken us almost the entire school year to be friendlies, girls. Don't make it sound like we only like them because they're talented people. They're our friends, too. That's true, Eliza, but don't act like we wouldn't be friended them if we weren't trying really hard. We're not exactly the most popular kids in school. Yeah, you two were new, moving here and all, and I am kind of awkward since I have not fully gotten accustomed to living in this time period. Guys, I think class is about to start. We better get going. So, uh, welcome guys. So glad school's over, right? Yeah, definitely. Kate, can you please get your hair out of my face? Oh, sorry, Jessie. Oh my gosh, you guys. Stop bickering about everything. Stay out of this, Chloe. It's none of your business. Whoa there. Okay, guys. So, Eliza, Lydia, and I have a bit of a confession to make. We didn't just invite you here for a last day of school party. Then why are we here? Uh, I think Eliza would love to explain that to you in further detail. Well, uh, it, it's kind of a long story and I'm not sure I'm the best person to tell it. M maybe Lydia. Oh, it always has to be me, doesn't it? Well, you guys are gonna think we're kind of crazy after this. It all started when we first moved here last August. Basically, we found out that this very house has a very long and very complicated history. There's really no easy way to put it, but our bedroom has a time traveling closet and we went on like a bunch of secret missions with this society from 1899 but that then disappeared and we had to try to like save everyone uh excuse me but did you just say that you have a time traveling closet in your house Lydia, if you're trying to play a prank on us, I think you could have come up with something better than that. No, no, guys, she's telling the truth. Look, I know it sounds nuts, but you gotta trust me. Lydia, she's from this time, but Nathan and I were actually born in 1937. I mean, uh, it's a bit more complicated than that. Look, you guys are nice and all great friends, but uh, I think I have to get going. Yeah, me too. Guys, just give us a chance. We can prove it to you. What was that noise? I think it came from the kitchen. I'll go take a look. This vase fell. Thankfully, it didn't break. That's rather odd. But please, please, guys, just give us a chance to explain. Sure, why not? Jesse, what are you doing? Come on, guys. They're our friends. There's no harm in just going to look at this apparently time-traveling closet. Huh, I guess you have a point. 
we'll come take a look. But just real quick. Thank you so much, guys. I promise we won't let you down. Well, this is it. This is the closet. So, how do you plan on proving that this closet can travel through time? I'm going to go back in time and drop this picture. This thing was packed away all neatly in the cupboard, yet it somehow fell. The answer? I dropped it. No offense, but going into the closet doesn't really prove anything. Oh, but just wait. He's gone! That doesn't mean anything. It could just have a trap door. Boo! Nathan, you scared us! What happened to the picture? I had to leave it in the past. I'm still not convinced. You know, Chloe, you seem to be the most unconvinced by all of this. So I have a little proposition for you. Go test out the closet yourself. Pick some date in the future. You'll end up traveling there and then I think you'll believe us. I can't tell you what to do, but personally, I wouldn't advise going too far in the future. We don't know what the situation might be then. Uh, okay, I, I guess I'll give it a go. Okay, Chloe, now that you're in there, just say the exact date you want to go to. Uh, okay, um, December 15th, 2016. Everything looks the same, but... Where did everyone go? Hello? Hello? Is anyone here? Oh, it's December 15th already, isn't it? I'd kind of lost track of the days, but I remember this. Who are you? Chloe, I'm you from the future. 